New bridge in the Big Springs community of Blount County now bears the name of Deputy Greg McCowan. In February, he was shot and killed in the line of duty. 10 News reporter Chris Lucas joins us with the latest tribute to that fallen deputy. Right now, I'm walking on Deputy McCowan's bridge. Several officials were here earlier in the day to honor the deputy's life and service. The national anthem opens Deputy Greg McCowan's ceremony. For those who don't know me, I'm Kaylee McCowan, and I just want to share a little bit about my dad. Kelly McCowan said her dad always dreamed of becoming a deputy. He was the kind of man to give a helping hand to anybody who needed it. He would have anybody's back without hesitation and was a true hero at heart. Hundreds gathered at the Big Spring Bridge to honor him. It's so humbling and, and to see the support we've had through the community and now to have this bridge that when people cross it, they'll, they'll know the sacrifice he's made for his community, his state and nation. Blount County Sheriff James Barong hopes this is the last time. My prayer is that no other officer gets harmed or killed. I don't think I can do this again. I don't want to do this again. This bridge now bears the deputy's name. To recognize the service of the sheriff's department here in Blount County and to honor the life and the sacrifice of Greg McCowan. McCowan leaves a huge void behind. Not only was he a wonderful dad, he was a great papa to my daughter. A loving son, a caring fiance, and a truly a great friend to have. Now every time the suspect in the fatal shooting, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. faces 21 charges, including premeditated murder. Prosecutors have until October 11th to decide if they will pursue the death penalty.